I've had a lot of questions and it's very aggravating because I see it all the time and I'm finally doing everything I can about it to get it taken down but everything outdoors YouTube channel is a fake they're taking videos from mine and dad's Instagram TikToks, Facebook pages everything taking stories whatever they can and they're posting it on their channel on YouTube and they're making money off our image which oh, drives me crazy all fake but i am working on getting all that taken down right now that channel right there is fake if you see it report it i'm reporting them for copyright right now because all this is illegal it's mine you know they they can't steal my stuff so if this doesn't work we're getting lawyers involved already talked to some folks it's about to happen they're getting taken down but in the meantime if you see them know that it's not us it's a fake channel after they see this they'll probably change their name every time i call them out they change their name but they're not going to be able to do much hopefully after i report all these copyright violations because i've got a whole list up right now on the computer that i've already done and i'm just getting started so we coming for you we are coming for you ain't that right merle Merle's over it too. They're using Merle in their videos. All these fakes. Lord, it's so aggravating. That's why I try to watermark everything, but they just put everything outdoors in their own watermark over my watermark. Mm. Very annoying. Make your own stuff, people. Be way easier for you in the long run. I mean, they got everything. And they've got ads playing over the top of my videos, so I know they're making money off of it. You know, we work hard to get all this content for y'all. And they're just stealing it. So, about to do something about this junk. Just about to prop this up right here. So I can go back to Cabin and Payson and getting these jokers gone. Very annoying because I'm having to go through and find all the videos that they have used mine and copy the links and put it in here because, yeah, very much a violation. We're working on it, though. We're going to get this junk taken down because I'm sick of it. Very sick of it. Da -da -da. And Instagram and everything looks way different on a computer. I don't like it. Mm. Trying to find all this stuff is fun. <laughs> Why ain't I in the water? I've been, this is my first full day home in a while. It's supposed to rain this weekend, so giving it a little break. But we're coming back soon. Don't you worry. What is the biggest catfish? I've noodled 67 pound flathead and a 61 pound blue. Blues are obviously way meaner and bite a lot harder, but the, whoa, I think I got a million views. But the, um, the flatheads are usually bad to spin worse. Thank you, Victor. Trying to keep up with y'all. Yeah, I've had a lot of people also saying that they're tired of seeing catfish. Well, it's either y'all are going to see catfish right now or nothing because that's my life right now. I'm on the water every day, just about it. <laughs> so, if y'all get sick of catfish, I'm sorry. You just had somebody say they were unsubscribing because they were sick of seeing catfish, but can't help it. That's my life right now. I love catfish noodling. That's what got me to where I am. My goodness, how many videos have I posted? This is not as easy as it seems. Copper.
but got a lot going on um we've got tyler that's been going with us tyler Beatty, filming and editing stuff for us for youtube that's helped a lot because you know i've always just used my cell phone and we're not always able to get videos because we're the ones in the water and when you got somebody else up there helping it makes all the difference in the world so i've got a lot of videos coming for y'all and they're mostly catfish so if you don't want to see catfish i'm sorry but y'all are going to see us catching a lot of catfish a lot of big catfish getting all chewed up but it's all fun it's what we love to do even when we're aggravated over people stealing our content like i am right now There's every video they've posted is stealing content. And they have 22,000 subscribers, all from stealing our content. Very annoying. Very annoying. I'm reporting everything they got to. Having to watch an ad before I watch my own video on here. <clears throat> Here's one where they stole dads. Ah. Let's see. What got you into noodling? Abel asked. Actually, our game warden took us when I was about 15 or 16. I can't remember which one. That was one of them. Um, hang on, how do I pause this? Yeah, 15 or 16. My dad cut up, a, he's got a sawmill, cut up a bunch of lumber for him. And he had moved down from another county and he had went and done it in another state and came back to Alabama moved to our county and was our neighbor. Dad cut up a bunch of lumber for him and he said, hey, y'all wanna go catfish noodling? And when we heard that at first, we thought about, you know, like taking the pool noodles and running the line through them and calling that catfish noodling because that's what we've always called noodling. But he said, no, we're you grabbing them out from under that gum holes in the water. And we said, shoot, yeah, we wanna go. And it's been wide open ever since. Thank you, Eric. I'm trying trying to get all these crazies taken down and I probably look like a wild bush youngin because I ain't brushed my hair today but it is what it is mm, here's this one this is a process this is complicated Video, da, 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 da. and I'm hungry difference when I'm hungry. Okay. You turd. Control. I'm not good with technology at all. But we're trying. Control. Mama. Copy. I don't even know what today is. I was going to tell y'all to have a good weekend. I think today's Friday. If it is, have a good weekend. I'm just trying to get this mess taken down because they're stealing my content. And the thing is, is the entire video, like every video they post is like little, is a bunch of our videos that they've got from Instagram and stuff and TikTok and they're adding them together. And when you're reporting these, it asks, you know, is this just a part of it or is it an entire video? And I put entire video, but it's only lets you put the link in for one video. So might have to do this again later and do it for different timestamps or whatnot, but it is what it is. Right now I'm just trying to get all this mess. They're taking my stories too. That's aggravating. People suck. 
That was also one of my stories. People have nothing better to do. <laughs> Where's Merle? Merle is right here with me. Yeah. Need to, I do watermark my videos, most of them, unless they're on my story. I guess I gotta start watermarking stories too. But stealing my content, y'all. All right, here's another one that I can report. I think it gives them like a seven day notice to take all these videos down. If they don't, yeah. We're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna try to start going live with y'all more often too, just so y'all can see what goes on in my life outside noodling, which right now is not very much. Cause like I said, it's the first day I've been home. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's the first day I've been home in like a week. Actually, I think I came home for a night to drop my buddies from Texas off at the airport and then pick some more folks up. Um, from another airport so came home for a night at least but I was home for less than 12 hours thank you Roy I appreciate it I'm trying to keep up with y'all's comments and do this at the same time mm -mm -mm. who is your favorite guest you've had this season Lord I can't I can't pick we've taken some really great people there's none of them that I hadn't liked so I guess it's it's too hard to pick. We've took some amazing people and we have had a lot of fun this year. It's been a very good noodling season so far. Thank you, Christopher David. Appreciate that. Ooh, ooh, pushed the wrong button on my own video trying to keep up with y'all's comments. Oh, the trophy room is getting loaded. Yes, and I've actually got an elk head in the corner from my hunt with Christy Lee Cook in Hell's Canyon, Idaho. That's gonna be on the most wanted list. And I've got two Axis deer in a box that came in last week that we've got to hang too. Killed those in Texas with my buddies from Crooked Wing Outfitters. All that is on On Tour Outdoors YouTube channel if y'all wanna see that hunt. Done a lot of things with some pretty amazing people. I've got some really good friends. You know, everybody asks, how do I get to go everywhere and do all this stuff? I got really good friends. They come catfish noodling or bow fishing or something and we'll go hunt with them. So everybody says, oh, it must be nice to have money. No, it must be nice to have good friends. Good friends are better than having money. Can you teach us Indiana boys how to noodle? Yes, sir. I'd have to see if it's legal in Indiana first, though. Some states it's legal and some it's not. Um, I can see why it wouldn't be because when people don't know what they're doing, it's easy to hurt the fish. Thank you, Mark, from Australia. That's awesome. But if people don't know what they're doing and they hurt the fish, then and they catch a lot of fish, then it's easy to put a big dent in the population. But we're always super careful with the fish. We're real, like, big about making sure it's not hurt. And if there's any chance the fish is hurt, we take it home and we clean it and we eat it because we're not going to let a fish like that go to waste. You know, if there's a chance it'll die out there because we have actually pulled a lot of dead fish out of natural holes where people before us have went and you know messed up the fish when they were catching them because they they didn't hold them right or something went wrong and they were too lazy to clean it so they just shove it back in the hole and we ended up pulling a dead fish out of the hole and can't stand that you know if, if you're gonna kill something you need to make some use of it instead of wasting it um what video is this? Do you and your dad do guided trips for noodling? We don't at the time just because we've taken... What the heck? We don't have the right license for it either. You, you need to have a charter license and we don't have that. Plus, we don't really, we might look into getting that, but what the heck? 
we don't really have the time anyways with the friends and stuff that we do take. We do a lot of collabs with people. We have a good time. Now my internet's acting dumb and not letting me find these. Typing in my fitness page because they're stealing stuff off my Hannah Baron Fitness Instagram and it's not letting me search for that. Being annoying. Being very annoying. Trying to catch up with y'all. Thank y'all. The Tim, Hannah, they have a knockoff Facebook group pretending to be you as well. Yes, that's also very annoying. I don't know what to do about any of these people. Oh, the only Facebook channels we have is my Hannah Barron Outdoors and Dad's is just Jeff Barron. That's our only Facebook pages. Our only Instagram pages are Hannah Barron 96, um, Hannah Barron Fitness, and Jeff Barron 70. And Merle the Corgi if you want to count him because I've got an Instagram for his too. The only YouTubes are this one, Hannah Barron, and Dad's Jeff Barron. That's it. And TikTok is Hannah Bear 96 Other than that, anything you see is fake. Don't be fooled. Copy link. But y'all are probably getting tired of watching me sit here report this channel so oh, i will let y'all go and i hope y'all have a great weekend a great friday i think it's friday it's a bad one i don't even remember days because i've been on the water for so long but i hope y'all have a great day and appreciate y'all